Hello folks, this is G-Wave here, and we're back with another GTA Liberty City Stories playthrough. The last time we were here, we ended up helping Salvatore steal, get some drugs from the cartel. Yeah, that's right, the same cartel from GTA 3, and we also met Miguel before the events of 3, and in the end, we ended up taking out the Sendakos here in Portland. See, look. This is now Leone Turf. Here, Leone's here. And all the Sendakos have been kicked out of Portland. And you see right here, the Leones have taken over the Sendakos' club. This is actually how they gain control of the Red Light District in GTA 3. And they change it to Luigi's Club. Now today, we're going to be doing a mission for JD. And this is actually JD's last mission. So... Without further ado, let's begin. This is going to be JD's last mission, guys. Oh, the Made Man. Cody! It's all happening today. I'm going to be a Made Man. Me! JD the Untouchable. <laughs> God help us all. I've waited a long time for this. It never would have happened without you, Tony. Hey, I'm crying over here. Come on. Hey Mickey, how you doing? Ceremonies in Howard. Look at that guys, that's Mickey. Mickey was that guy that was with Luigi. Remember every time we went to Luigi's club, Luigi had a guy with him? This is great! I slaved for the stockos for kids! Those not those bastards kept me down! Took a little Irish blood in my veins. But Salvatore, God bless him. He don't let a little thing like that get in the way. Oh, yes, oh, no. oh. Think I'm afraid to do this? Oh, you're tough, are you? Get the hell so out yeah, of the Sendako sent some soldiers to kill JD because they found out JD was helping us take them out. I knew they were coming, that's why I stopped here. Tony, man, you gotta chill out. Ah, uh, Tony, I tell you, I can't believe this is happening. Yeah. I waited so long. I know, right? It's like Tony, a dream so come safe. true. Look at that, Fine. guys. I don't need to be a made man. Look at that, the ceremonies at the crusher yard. But it's great, right? Hey, are we there? Uh -huh. uh, where's Salvatore? Tony, the first drink's on me. Yep. They killed JD. Hey, the guy was a fucking rat. He screwed over his own boss, the scratchy eye. Salvatore could never have trusted that motherfucker. Dump the fucking car in the river. You could drive me off on the way. If the cops see the car like this, they'll pull us over for sure. Yep. JD is dead. Salvatore wasn't going to make JD a made man. He was always going to kill him. And if you want to see the reason why JD was killed... Go check out the YouTube video, The Professional, Why Was JD Killed? He made a video and everything on it, but yeah, Salvatore was never going to make JD into his mafia. 
for a bunch of reasons. The professional explained it better in his video. Well, there go to JD. Bat, da, na, na, na. Hey, it's me, Vincenzo. Aww. What the hell do you want? Someone to pick up your laundry or wipe your ass? Oh, come on, no, don't be like that. Listen, I feel bad about everything. Come on, drop by my place, I got something for you. Yeah, what's that, a pair of concrete boots? Nice slice of arsenic pie. Forget about it. No, oh, come on, Tone. I feel bad about what went down. Salvatore heard about it and told me we both need to grow up. Both of us? Growing up. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on, I've got house. Yeah, to I don't think I'm the one that needs to grow up, Vincenzo. Hey, man. That's come on, move right man. now. So yeah, I told you guys this wouldn't be the last time we met Vincenzo. Told y'all this was not the last time we were going to meet Vincenzo. So if you guys hear right there, Vincenzo claims that he's sorry for what he did to us. But if you guys see right there, Tony doesn't believe him in the slightest. So, let's go do Vincenzo's mission, and this is actually Vincenzo's last mission. So let's begin. Portland Chainsaw Massacred. Video or Masquerade, here, whatever. What is this? Tony, come star. I knew you'd call. Listen, I'm down at the Portland docks. We got a big shipment just come in. Get yourself down here. I'm on board the big freighter. I don't know, Vinny. I got stuff to do. Look, I know I've been an asshole to you, Tony, and for that, I'm truly sorry. But from now on, we'll be like partners, okay? Better than partners, brothers. So come on, wait a sec. It's what Salvatore wants. Okay, for Salvatore. But if you pull any of that daddy bullshit, you're a dead man. Okay, so... I just want to let you guys know, the mission we're about to do is extremely risky. Like... It's actually the first hard mission in the game. Don't throw me, I'm a man! I can lay a finger on her, swear! Oh, Lord! And it's extremely risky. So you guys see right there, Vincenzo claims he wants to make things right between us, but Tony doesn't believe him in the slightest. Yeah, the moment you get on this ship, you know something bad is about to happen. Like, you get the feeling that something not right is about to happen. Look at that. I'm gonna cut you up, little man! Die! get shot, you're cool. Think I'm a loser to you? Die!
And there he is. Is that dumbass Jim dead yet? Hate to disappoint you, Finny. You son of a bitch! Why can't you just die already? You should have never come back, Tony. I worked my fingers to the bone for Salvatore, and you just come wandering back to town, and he's all Tony this and Tony that. This is my town, Tony! My town! You ain't taking it away from me! I'm gonna enjoy this. So, yep, that's the end of Vincenzo. Look at these. All these men were part of Vincenzo's crew. And now Vincenzo is dead. So, yeah, this is another reason why Vincenzo isn't in GTA 3. Because Tony killed him and he also killed his entire crew. And it's a big mystery on why Salvatore doesn't get Tony killed because Vincenzo was a made man in Salvatore's Mafia. Tony wasn't ordered nor told to kill Vincenzo. So you would think Tony will get repercussion from this, but no, he doesn't. In fact, Salvatore is actually okay with it. And look at that, we got paid to kill Vincenzo. Yeah, it's not really known how Tony got paid. It's hinted that he took his money off of Vincenzo. Tony, it's Salvatore. We got big trouble. Get your ass over here pronto. Not good. So yeah, guys, that's the end of Vincenzo. Vincenzo's been whacked and he's officially done. This is exactly why we don't see him in GTA 3. He's dead. Him and his entire crew have been wiped out. <coughs> so yeah, Tony knew something was up. And I knew that something was up and I knew Vincenzo wasn't gonna make peak with us. So basically the only reason Vincenzo betrayed Tony was because he was jealous. Simple as that. Kiss my ass, dickhead. All right, guys, so now we're at Salvatore's place. Sendako Sabotage. Tony, Sabotage. Trouble. Big trouble. What is it, Sal? What's the world coming to? We got the Diablos crawling all over us in Hepburn. They're kicking our asses. We just finished one goddamn war and bang, we're right in the middle of another. I swear. Just when things were looking up, I'm cursed. I'm fucking cursed. Hey, don't worry about a thing, boss. I'll deal with this. All right, let's go, guys. Look at that. The Leones in the red light district are being attacked by the Diablos. Which is why I never understood why is this level called Sendako Sabotage when it has really nothing to do with the Sendakos. And this is due to, <coughs> this is due to the Sicilians. Remember in the last mission they hired Massimo was talking to the Diablos? This is what it led up to.
Not too good. good. I saved a few guys, but we lost too many before I got here. I think we're gonna lose this part of town. Over my dead body, this ain't done yet. I ain't losing shit. The Leones don't retreat from nothing. You hear me, Tony? You said it, Sal. So yeah, we literally just fought almost everyone in the Diablos in this mission. Like, that was almost a whole Diablo gang. So now whenever the Diablos see the us, they'll be hostile towards us and they'll try to kill us. Alright, let's do Salvatore's next mission. Trouble with the Triads. Yep, I think it's obvious who we're gonna fight now. Hey, Sal. Tony, what do you think of the new car? She's a beauty, huh? Fully loaded, top of the line. What's that smell? Oh, yeah, midlife crisis. Shut up. Tony, listen. I got a shitload of money that needs to be picked up from my warehouse down at Callahan Point. I don't trust anyone else to do this. Are you girls gonna talk all day, or are we driving? God damn it, woman! Did I tell you you could speak? Now, I don't like how men disrespect women, but Maria, I can make an exception for. Because honestly, I hate her. She is the definition of a bitch. But still, don't disrespect women, guys. Don't disrespect some of them simply because of their gender. And uh, no domestic violence. But Maria, we can make an exception. Especially all the trouble she put in Tony through. And what she does to Claude in GTA 3. So basically, Salvatore wants Tony to go and pick up some money of his from a warehouse. This warehouse is where he kept most of his illegal money in. And that's what some mobsters do. They'll keep most of their illegal money not in the bank, but in a special location. But then the bank is going to ask where all that money came from. And this mission it eventually parallels Tony's final mission because it ex it it basically explains one thing in GTA 3. <coughs> and you're gonna see what. Hey, Tony, come stop. Come on, hurry up. I'm gonna have to try ads. Okay, let's go.
damn it. Come on, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. So yeah, now the triads are chasing us. So yeah, guys, what that mission plays homage to is Tony's last mission. Did you guys see that location? That's where the Triads' fish can factory is. And basically, that area used to belong to the Leone. So after the Triads blew it up, they took it over and built their fish can factory over there. So that's why Tony blew it up, because that was like a little payback from this event. Okay, so we're going to do this mission, and we're going to call it a day. Driving Mr. Leone. Well? Well, what? Don't play dumb with me, kid. I was playing dumb when your mother was still turning tricks. What's your problem? I know what you've been saying about me. You think I'm an idiot? Huh? Is that what you think? Boss, I ain't been saying nothing about you. What the fuck? I don't know what's happening to me. Jesus, I'm getting paranoid, Tony. Really fucking paranoid. Just because I think everyone hates me doesn't mean they don't. Know what I mean? Someone is out to get me. It's that fucking mayor. He's gonna blame mm. me for all the shit that's been going down in the neighborhood. All of it. Not just the crap that I did, but all of it. Come on, let's go take care of this. So you guys see just how paranoid Salvatore is. And that from CJ from GTA 3, like, I mean, CJ from San Andreas. Did this dude to CJ betraying him in San Andreas when we did a Caligula's casino heist? After that, Salvatore became very paranoid. But the strike's still on. There won't be any ferries. Just try. I'll do the thinking. Yeah, Salvatore, I don't think that's a good idea with you being paranoid as shit. So yeah, that's that paranoia CJ gave them from GTA 3. I mean, GTA San Andreas, my bad. What I meant to say about 3 is that that's why Salvatore becomes even more paranoid in 3. CJ makes him paranoid from San Andreas and leads to him being paranoid towards Claude in GTA 3. So there's a reason why I'm backing up. Jesus Christ, the cops are crawling all over this place. Get us the fuck out of here. Where are we going? Callahan Bridge. Callahan Bridge ain't finished yet. We're both gonna be finished if we don't drive. Now move it.
We're gonna need everything this piece of shit's got. Punch it, Tony! Shaved. Yeah, please now, don't listen. do that, boss. I know a safe place where we can both lie low for a while. Come on, let's go. Okay, we gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Get to the safe house. Get to the safe house. Nice to see here, officer. The industrial action that had cut off Portland from the rest of the city has finally come to an end. Or has it? Although all the subway and ferry routes are now officially open, militant workers are continuing with their blockade in parts of the city. The elevator bridge connecting Staunton Island and Shoreside Vale has been shut down. The strikers refuse to believe assurances made by city officials over the future of the ferries. Yeah, this is the place. I'm gonna take a look around, see what's what. I might see you here later. This is a safe house that we can use now. Dot, da, 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 da. <coughs> so yeah guys we got away from the cops and now we're laying low in Fort Stauntlin now supposedly there was supposed to be some Leone soldiers responding around here but again the game was rushed and they forgot to put them yep Tony it's Sal I need to talk but I don't trust these cell phones to I'll call you on the public phone outside the courthouse. All right, so we're going to come back to that in the next mission. So I'm going to end this video here, guys. So, yeah, we did a lot today. So JD is dead. The reason why Salvatore had JD killed is because he's not 100% Italian. And JD is an opportunist. JD is an opportunist. He only helped out the Leones because they said they were going to make a maid, but they never were. That was just a lie that Salvatore told him so he can take down the Sendakos. And you saw the lengths JD was willing to do because the Sendakos didn't make him maid. And there's a YouTube video that explains in better detail why Salvatore got JD killed. It's called, literally called, Why Did Salvatore Kill JD? So check it out when you see it. It's made by the professional. And Vincenzo, he's officially dead. This is why Vincenzo's not in GTA 3. Look at this. This is a nice safe house Salvatore has. Yeah, this is why Vincenzo's not in GTA 3. And why he's dead. Tony killed him. And the reason why Vincenzo betrayed him is simply because of pure enviness. Like he was jealous of Tony because Salvatore favored him more over him. And Vincenzo betrayed him. So, basically, that's what happens. This is why when Salvatore has the meeting in GTA 3, in Tony's third mission, with, when we see all the high ranks of the Leones, we don't see JD over there. I mean, we don't see Vincenzo there, and yeah, that's why JD's not in GTA 3. And the guy that killed JD was Mickey. He was Luigi's bodyguard in GTA 3. He was that guy that we always saw come out of <coughs> Luigi's club, in GTA 3. Mickey's such a very underrated character. And he too was supposed to have missions in this game. But they took a lot of them out. So yeah. Mickey was only there for like a quick Easter egg. So I'm going to end this video here guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my TikTok and Instagram. If you want to see some other content. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll do you another GTA Liberty City Stories playthrough. 
This is G-Wave signing out. Peace, God bless, have a good day or night, depending on what time you're watching this. And I'll see you guys next time. And a quick tip to beating Vincenzo's missions. Just get as far away as you can from the chainsaw, guys, and just start shooting. Use a gun with a lot of ammo. Do not try to use a gun like, say, for example, a, <coughs> a pistol with a little bit of ammo, even though the revolver... I took as a one-hit KO weapon. Still, it takes a while to reload, and you gotta get as far away from the men as possible. Same thing with the shotgun. Like, it just shoots once, and they just get too close. It's not worth it, guys. So just use this gun right here to shoot them far range a lot. Or if you're far away from them, yes, you can use the pistol, which one-hit KOs them. But either way, they go down real easy. Same thing with Vincenzo, because Vincenzo was a little more because he had body armor on, so you gotta shoot him a lot. So, yeah, Vincenzo was like a boss battle. So, that's the end of Vincenzo, and that's the end of JD, and that's why they're not in GTA 3 at all. So, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like and subscribe to the channel, all our other fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. This is G-Wave, signing out. Peace, God bless, have a day or night, depending on what time you're watching this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, God bless. Bye!